Welcome to our weekly updates from Little Baby Bump, a mom and baby health center in BTM Layout, Bangalore. Here our eminent doctors give you tips on topical issues every week. <clears throat> Hello friends, welcome to the Little Baby Bump series of podcasts. Today I have the eminent uh, gynecologist and obstetrician, Dr. Nirmala. Dr. Nirmala has got extensive experience. She's had more than 20 years of experience in the field. And she has 15 years of experience in infertility itself. And she's an acknowledged uh, expert uh, in, in, in this field. And uh, she has got multiple awards to her credit as well. Uh, she has the Aryabhata Award. Yeah. Right? And uh, you obviously are a speaker and a personality du jour in uh, Karnataka and Bangalore, absolutely. Yeah. It's a pleasure and a privilege to be uh, talking to you, doctor. And uh, the topic that we are going to talk about right now is uh, the topic of male infertility. Right? Okay. So without, without further ado, doctor, uh, why don't you take over? Yeah. <clears throat> well, male infertility is a subject which, is a, which has become a great concern today. And uh, if you look at, uh, say, 10 or 15 years back, or rather the time that I started my practice into infertility, the incidence of male infertility was uh, barely about 25 to 30 percent, mm -hmm. that's all. And uh, women used to count to about 25 to 30 percent. In a combined way, both male and female subfertility was another uh, 20 percent. 10 percent, there was no cause at all, what mm -hmm. we call as an idiopathic, unexplained infertility. Mm -hmm. But if you look at where we are today, mm -hmm. there is a global concern, there is a rise in the female, I mean, male infertility. Mm -hmm. Today, practically men contribute to the extent of about 50 to 55 percent. Wow. There is a global increase. Mm -hmm. that's, where, that's what we call as uh, mm -hmm. male infertility. If the parameters, if there is a decrease in either one of the parameters mm -hmm. or all of the parameters, that is the sperm count, sperm motility mm -hmm. or the sperm looks, the morphology mm -hmm. is called as male infertility. Okay. okay. <coughs> and um, obviously there seems to be an almost an alarming right there. What do you and think are the reasons for that? Uh, doctor? Plenty of reasons. You can't really pinpoint and say this is a reason. There's been a global shift in the lifestyle mm -hmm. and, um, uh, and male infertility is not alone a problem in the urban area. It mm -hmm. is also seen in the rural category. Mm -hmm. And uh, reasons being, uh, there are many reasons to cite a few of them. Maybe the uh, automobile combustion and the release of, uh, you know, um, the pollution, a uh, uh. substance called surfactant, okay. you know, from the automobile combustion is thought to affect the male count, the sperm count okay. and motility. Uh -huh. And then you have a lot of diet uh, alterations that has happened. You know, everybody wants to look slim, wants to go with a high fiber uh, diet and, you know, plenty of soya in their diet is being added. And this soya, soya as such, you know, it is a weak estrogen, it's a phytoestrogen what mm -hmm. we call mm -hmm. as. And this in the, it's, it's very good for the uh, health of a woman, but in an excessive soya diet in a man can cause again an increased circulation mm -hmm. of the weak estrogens and okay. that can also cause a reduction in the sperm count and motility. Okay. You know, and uh, you know that there's so much of abuse of um, smoking, alcohol and uh, the lifestyle itself. Late uh, nights, all that stuff. Late night work and uh, particularly the uh, people uh, in the software, mm -hmm. you know, long hours of working, sit for long hours. There's hardly any mobility. They sit tight in a place with com working on the computers for mm -hmm. pretty, pretty long hours. Mm -hmm. And so much of the stress, target-oriented work, you know, mm -hmm. they have to finish it, so that pushes them into stress and multiple factors. Mm -hmm. Occupational hazards are also there, but mm -hmm. that's been there always. So mm -hmm. what is a change is the change in the diet, in the lack of exercise, mm -hmm. obesity becomes a major factor over there, the stress levels, all these have started contributing to an increase in the male factor. I understand, I understand. Uh, last question, doctor, you know, if you had a couple of things to suggest to people, uh, or audiences about what they should be doing differently from what they are doing right now, what would you say those are? I only would um, uh, suggest that lifestyle modification is uh, mandatory. Uh -huh. We should learn to space out our work and uh, between taking uh, enough rest and, you know, long hours of working, for example, somebody who has got to work for eight, nine hours, mm -hmm. let them not sit tight in front of the computer and mm -hmm. work up two hours maybe and then get up for a break, go around, you mm -hmm. know, have a little fresh air, breathe in and come back and work. 
and uh, <clears throat> night sleep, the overnight sleep, you know, when they lose their, uh, when they work overnight also, that becomes highly stressful. Mm -hmm. So try to find out uh, ways to de-stress them mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we can, there are so many ways to de-stress yourself. There are yoga, meditations, which people teach. So uh, they should enroll themselves into something else. So mm -hmm. that, that also has an uh, uh, impact on them, lowers their stress levels. Mm -hmm. Of course, smoking is something which is absolutely Prohibited. Yes, prohibited. It has nicotine as a direct toxin. Mm -hmm. It just works on the seminiferous tubules and starts reducing the count and motility. So that is one thing which they need to keep away if they want to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, alcohol also. You mm -hmm. know, let it be just a weekend or you know once in a way a drink is permitted, mm -hmm. but not on a regular basis and mm -hmm. not taking large quantities also. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, uh, the other uh, changes are. Of course, as I already told you, the other areas of, uh, even in the rural areas, I gave you a picture that the, there is an increase in the male factor. Mm. And the cause being there is the use of, increased use of pesticides, mm -hmm. like, you know, organochlorine compounds, pesticides, chemicals. Mm -hmm. So, again, uh, in those areas, there has to be a change in the technology and in the usage of mm -hmm. these in a controlled fashion so that they don't have an impact on the Got men. It. Got it. Excellent, Doctor. Thanks a ton. I'm sure um, very valuable insights there and uh, we look forward to further such uh, conversations. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. You are listening to our weekly video cast from Little Baby Bump, a mom and baby center in BTM layout, second stage, Bangalore. To find out more, please visit lilbabybump.com or facebook.com slash littlebabybump. Thank you very much for listening.